What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. HBO Max has officially announced that the Harry Potter TV show will continue and has revealed an unusual 10-year plan for the series. The Harry Potter film franchise began in 2001 and has since evolved into a tremendously lucrative brand based on author J.K. Rowling's renowned novels. However, following the recent box office failure of the third Fantastic Beasts movie, it's uncertain where the Wizarding World franchise will go next. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have some wonderful news for all of you Harry Potter enthusiasts out there. HBO Max has released a first peek at its planned Harry Potter remake series. Prepare to return to the magical world of Hogwarts and beyond with this highly anticipated series. Keep an eye out for additional updates and sneak peeks. So let's take a look at it. Following earlier claims, Warner Brothers Discovery has now confirmed the existence of a Harry Potter remake TV show at HBO Max. Rowling will act as an executive producer on each season of the show, which will adapt one of her seven novels. The Harry Potter play will include an entirely new cast and, in an unexpected move, will be promoted as a decade-long commitment for the association. And now for the most controversial thing. Is a Harry Potter remake TV show a good idea? The first Harry Potter movie may have come out over 20 years ago, but the last movie in the mainline franchise only came out in 2011. Although that's now over 10 years ago, the movie franchise still looms large in popular culture, and stars Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint are still most associated with their work in the wizarding world. The lasting popularity and influence of the eight Harry Potter movies make the prospect of a remake TV show so soon a conflicting one. There are a number of reasons to question whether a Harry Potter remake show is a good idea, but there is evidently a younger generation that may not have yet experienced the magic of Rowling's wizarding world. Those who grew up with the books and the films will be more likely to compare the upcoming show with the successful and beloved version that was previously released. But for younger viewers, the HBO Max show may end up being the definitive Harry Potter adaptation. Many questions remain about the upcoming show, but the wizarding world clearly isn't going anywhere. Some fans have called for a boycott. The Max remake, and particularly Rowling's involvement in it, have been met with some mixed feelings online. Some have criticized the show as a clear play for more cash and expressed doubt about how quickly a seven-season show can be cranked out. But most complaints stem from ongoing resistance to J.K. Rowling's transphobia. Rowling maintains that she is not transphobic, but she often contradicts herself in her statements and public comments. Rowling recently responded on Twitter stating, Activists in my mentions are attempting to arrange yet another boycott of my work, this time of the Harry Potter TV show. As forewarned is forearmed, I've stocked up on champagne, she wrote. In 2020, Rowling began making anti-transgender remarks publicly, which led many fans to cancel and denounce her. The Harry Potter cast has spoken out against Rowling's statements per Variety. Daniel Radcliffe, who, in case you don't know, starred as the titular role in the original films, released a full statement responding to J.K. Rowling's transphobia in June 2020 through the Trevor Project website. The Trevor Project is a non-profit organization that primarily serves as a crisis intervention platform for at-risk LGBTQ youth. Earlier this year, Radcliffe hosted a roundtable for trans youth through the organization. In 2022, Rowling was noticeably absent from the Harry Potter 20th anniversary special, Return to Hogwarts. The author claimed she declined the invitation because she felt it was about the films more than the books, quite rightly, per variety. Later that same year, Radcliffe also said that he was uninterested in revisiting his Harry Potter role, per the New York Times, because not enough time has passed since the last Harry Potter film was released. If you need your Harry Potter fix now, you can watch the films on Peacock and HBO Max. After all, the last time anyone got new Harry Potter content was over a decade ago. 
When does the new series air? There's still no word on when production will start for the Harry Potter remake or when it'll be released. Given that most shows on HBO Max have about two years between seasons, it's unlikely the new Harry Potter series will hit the streamer before 2025. But perhaps they will use a time turner on set and finish it more quickly. Who will be in the cast? It's unclear if the show has been cast yet, so the full cast list remains to be seen. But HBO has said it'll feature an entirely new cast. Still, we're excited about the upcoming series and have responded on social media with cast theories, which include Adam Driver as Snape and Tom Felton as Lucius Malfoy. We aren't sure about that. Yet the question remains in silence, when will we see the continuation of the Harry Potter story, which involves J.K. Rowling's Cursed Child? Those of you who aren't familiar with this book, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is the eighth story in the Harry Potter series, and the first official Harry Potter story to be presented on stage. Based on an original new story by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany and Jack Thorne, the play was scripted by Jack and directed by John. It received its world premiere in London's West End on July 30th, 2016. Being Harry Potter has never been easy. And it isn't much easier now as we catch up with him 19 years after the Battle of Hogwarts. These days, Harry is a husband, father of three school-aged children, and an overworked employee at the Ministry of Magic. While he struggles with a personal history that refuses to stay in the past, his youngest son, Albus, must grapple with the weight of the family legacy he never asked for. As past and present fuse ominously, both father and son learn the uncomfortable truth. Sometimes, darkness comes from unexpected places. The Harry Potter Max series reboot has left us spellbound and yearning for more. With its promise of a fresh take on the beloved story, exceptional production values, and the involvement of J.K. Rowling herself, this reboot holds immense potential to captivate audiences old and new. And if you've never explored the Harry Potter universe, this is the ideal moment to start. To catch up on the first series and take part in the excitement for the Max series, read the books or see the films. As we eagerly await the release of the series and the future expansions of the Wizarding World, let's remember the magic that Harry Potter has brought into our lives. It has ignited our imaginations, taught us valuable lessons about love, friendship, and courage, and created a bond among fans that transcends borders and generations. Rebooting Harry Potter isn't the same as recasting superheroes. A Harry Potter and the Cursed Child movie could happen, but it looks highly unlikely. The characters and plot would have to stay pretty much the same for a reboot. The tone isn't set as much in stone, but it would still be very close to what the eight movies have already done. Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland have different takes on Peter Parker, and the films gave them the opportunity to do different things. That would not happen if Harry Potter was recast, as the actor wouldn't have the same type of freedom that recast superheroes get. And that's it for today's videos, folks. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into what's coming up. Thanks for joining me on this enchanted voyage through the first peek at the Harry Potter Max series relaunch. Don't forget to like this video, share with your fellow Potterheads, and leave a comment below with your ideas and predictions for the series. And as always, keep tuned to our channel for the most recent information on everything magical in the world of Harry Potter. Until next time, keep your wands ready.